Hey guys, I'm Joe Beretta, and today I'm taking a stance. And here it is. Ticks can go to hell and die. Forever. I know. I know. It's an extreme point of view, but seriously, F ticks. First of all, they're external parasites, which means not only do they thrive at the expense of an unfortunate host, but you can see them do it. That's rude. At least internal parasites retain the common decency to shutter their disgusting, non-mutual symbiotic actions away from our delicate sensibilities. Not ticks, though. They're all like, look at me. I'm a tick, and I'm feasting on a dish called you. I'm gonna get fat. Second of all, they're arachnids, which means they're part of the same family of evil and nightmares as this guy, and this guy, and whatever that is, EW! Thirdly, ticks harbor a slew of horrible diseases that can change your life for the worse in an instant, with one stupid little tick bite. One of my good friends who goes by the name of Jonathan Wikipedia told me that ticks can transfer things like Lyme disease, Q fever, Colorado tick fever, Rocky Mountain spotted fever, African tick bite fever, rabbit fever, tick-borne relapsing fever, Bobbiosis, ehrlichiosis, tick paralysis, tick born meningoencephalitis, bovine anaplasmosis, and the Heartland virus. I don't know what any of those things are. And now ticks are infecting my news feed because a certain tick, known as the Lone Star Tick, seems to be on the rise. Here's why the Lone Star Tick is a butthole. Its bite can make you allergic to red meat. And more and more cases of people magically becoming allergic to red meat, even though they've been eating it their whole lives, are popping up from the south to the southeast and all the way up the east coast to Maine. Waking up and suddenly not being able to sink my teeth into a succulent sirloin is just as horrifying as waking up and finding I lost the ability to hug my own children. It's not that I don't love my beautiful kids endlessly, it's that I love steak that freaking much. The culprit inside the culprit here is a sugar called alpha-gal. It naturally occurs in red meat, but not in our fleshy human body. When the Lone Star Tick latches on, it squirts alpha-gal into the bloodstream, and then the body freaks out and is like, that's not supposed to be here. So the body fights back and creates antibodies to battle the sugar. After that, when you eat red meat, the body also fights the sugars in the meat, resulting in allergic reactions as mild as hives and swelling to more extreme fare, like a lack of breath, vomiting, diarrhea, and a drop in blood pressure. Things can get really anaphylactic too, resulting in the friendly plunge of an EpiPen. As a rule, if the things that you do in life result in somebody needing to use an EpiPen, you're a dick. Ticks are dicks. Lone Star dick. To top everything off here, some people have recovered from the red meat allergy, and others haven't. So it's literally a roll of the dice as to if you get better or not. No more barbecues, no more carne asada, no more hamburgers. My heart hurts for these people, but that also might be from all the red meat that I eat. Guys, let us know down below that if you were bit by a disgusting tick after you got over the heebie-jeebies, what would you not want to magically be allergic to? Let me know, because why not? It's a good conversation topic. After that, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, click the annotation for more source-fed stories. I'm Joe Beretta, and ticks are dicks.